Hey guys, Min here. Welcome back to your house, Minutes. Today we're going to talk about the pec minor. The pec minor is a stabilizer muscle. It doesn't really do much in terms of active motion, but it attaches from our rib cage up into our scapula and performs a little bit of protraction, but mostly tilts the top of our shoulder blade forward. Now, there's many ways we can train our pec minor. Uh, bench press is phenomenal, push-ups, chest press, incline or decline, it all works for pec minor. But typically speaking, people struggle with tight pec minors. Um, usually this is due to postural things where uh, we work with our shoulder blades rounded a lot throughout our day, so you end up doing things in this position and that causes very tight pec minor. It's not inherently bad, but pec minor can lead to other issues such as shoulder impingement, uh, you may lose range of motion because of this muscle. So when you're working around the pec minor, it's usually strengthened through regular horizontal and vertical push training. I do highly encourage you though to stretch and mobilize your pec minor. You can do many fantastic pec stretches such as a uh, corner stretch against the wall, you can do a pec opener with banded dislocations, tons of things you can do, but mostly we want to take our arms from this internally rotated and rounded shoulder lead position to something where you're much more open. You can also strengthen the opposing muscles of your pec minor. Uh, this is now talking more about the muscles in the back. We can do things like rows, face pulls, and vertical pulls, such as lat pull downs to strengthen the opposite muscles of your pec minor. Okay, so if you want to get a well-rounded training for your pec minor, don't just do your horizontal and vertical pressing, incorporate some stretches and strengthen the opposing muscle groups, okay? Thank you for joining us once again.